Hi. So I had planned a marathon. Don't watch my shirt and makeup, but me just wash off and this a water. So I had planned a marathon for um, my series. Um, they never, they never told me, or things they never. The one about like explaining stuff to people about like the whole process of coming to Canada and information that I think you should know, but. I'm not gonna rush that video, those videos, because I find that when I get questions from you guys and after I put out a video and I see where I lack some information, I make up in the next video. So I'm not gonna rush that. However, I'm still doing a marathon and this is my first ever movie review. I don't know if these are gonna be common or let's see how you guys behave towards this, but I just watched this movie and I relate in every single aspect of that movie. So we're going to talk about it. And as you can tell from the title, we're talking about Seriously Single. This is a, I don't know if you could call it a rom-com. Bro, if you want to know all of them, the information, they go Google the movie. All I know is this is based in South Africa and I love the movie because so it's two flatmates, right? They're best friends and they're awesome. They are somewhat opposite personalities, but they complement each other. These are two black women that you see in every single aspect of their life. You see them with those cornrows under the wig, the wig cap, like all of that. It's like, it's raw, but it's a movie. Anyways, it starts with this girl getting dumped, but then she works at this social media company or whatever and i guess she loves social media that much she posts everything online so she goes live and then this delivery man delivers all her stuff to her she gets dumped on valentine's day now y'all the movie starts in february my favorite month is october not only because i was born then but crazy stuff happened in october so <laughs> yes so i love her character because as the um, description of the movie on Netflix says, um, she dates to get married. Like, I don't know about other people, but personally, when I meet a guy, I go, um, okay, where do I see myself? I look so far down the line that I probably, not probably, I skip over every single red flag and look at the end of the tunnel. I'm like... Hmm. And then when sis is like, he could be Lunga Jr. and his, her, his friends could call him LJ. I'm like, girl, this is so me. Like, I have two names picked out for my kids already. And every guy I think about a future with, I'm like, how could I tweak this name a little bit? All right. Too much information about me. <laughs> Let's talk about the movie. Here's Dineo, she's the main character. She is so love struck. She falls in love so hard. She envisions a life with these guys because who doesn't? Not until my life. I relate to her on so many levels. Her bestie, Noni, boss babe. She's like, you don't need a man except for that but then you don't need them afterwards like i love her character absolutely love 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 then we have mrs star over here so named lunga and he's an arse and no needs man but i remember if a maxim name are a sosa xo H O no X H O S A. I think when him attack that come up in it. I don't remember. But I love him. Now the thing with Noni is Noni has seen too many of her friends and 
hopefully my fam family member because of that me I work off her. Like, go through what people go through in a relationship and she's like, I don't have to take that. Like, me a big woman and I make my own money and I push my own key. Like, I don't need that. And I relate. I relate religiously to that one. However, I have my soft spot or oh, I relate to the nail because when I do decide that, okay, I'm going to try, I fall really hard, like ripe breadfruit fall. And I don't know, like them write a movie here about my life. Some I exaggerated and some names were changed to protect feelings. But watch it and think about me as the two people them because bro I've been there. No, the mother, Mama V, me not love she. I mean love or no ni come out for your friend and say, who are gonna protect your sanity, bro, your mother. All of it like that mother represents everything that we grew up learning, I guess. This woman I gotta tell the girls say she not fit buy her own house, she not fit get her own place because man not like independent woman. That's a fit them business. That is their business. And for a minute I thought like I literally wondered why she was living with her friend and like going through all of this and then she would just move out straight into an apartment with a man and then come back to her friend. And it didn't make sense to me because I'm like, you're a successful woman. Like, you're a boss, babe. And then you can see that, yo, her mom did that for her. Which, I have to blame mother upon because at one point, mother was like, um, this man is not like your father. He is committed. And I'm like, so you have seen how men aren't committed but you know why your daughter get her own things because one man go come combine her. In an adult, like, I think you should have learned from the experience day. What's my fault? I expect too much from people. I love Max. I love Max. Max is this girl, and Max is like, are you more and so I'll win a 10 man? Me, I'm gonna be 11. Me love Max. Max is the girl and Max see everything behind all of what happened. Max is like, sis, you gonna be the one. Me, I gonna be the man. Why you talk? Oh, you gonna keep more than, you gonna keep man more than one time. Like, girl, me, I come back every day, every night, every day, every night. Choose me. Yeah, I love Max. And then, nobody else important in that movie. Think of that that's it so yeah sis is like falling hard for people like in three months she's like we're gonna be together we're gonna get married like she dates to get to that desired outcome and a lot of us girls do that so that's relatable but then she has her best friend that's the opposite like slam bam thank you ma'am goodbye just one night stands all the way through and I relate to her as well because she goes, um, yeah, uh, you're not about to do that to me. I'm about to do it to you. And, um, yeah, so that's how her character starts off. And then the girl meets this guy and he, she's explaining that, yo, like, I can't believe a man did this to me. And is these, these men out here these men out here like he listens to sis vent and stress about how she can't believe her ex did that and that and that and then my guy is like yeah and then when they do the part when he goes when she 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 does this steve harvey thing he calls it when she says she wait i have my cue cards when she was like, um, she needs somebody to come home to. And this little boy, go look for her and be like, nah, how about we go home together? Like, bruh, you need somebody to go home with. Like, 
me fall in love right then and there, you know what I mean? I say, like, I look on the time up on the movie, you know what I say? Oh, so early, like, a whole lot more things are going to happen and a bag of things go on. Like, bro. I don't know who. I don't know. That hurt my heart. For say that him come and break the girl heart, you know? My heart. He break my heart and he broke my heart. So I have to cut the throat. I say, now, ladies and gentlemen, my mother tell me, say, anything you look for now, a man for one, you go find it. Me hear my cousin say all the time, big bird mouth. Whatever she go in her phone, go look for him. She find it and it's still in there and I who hurt. So, baby girl and baby boy. Not I. <laughs> but now nah, do it. If me, I forgot to go in your phone. She never searched the man's phone. She stopped the man. Look here. <laughs> She stalk the man, pop up on the man, she hear the man I got hotel and or stalk the man on social media and check in. She pop up on him and I'm like, me not do that. Like, there's something I relate with your pan because anything you want to go and go do, you can go on. I will not be that person. I will not be that guy. I will not be that girl. You know? But she do her one like a thing. No, all right. Honestly. He did say he only wanted a one night stand, which he said the day after the one night stand. Now, you kind of can't say that because some girls like myself, I don't know. We just think, all right, especially after that climax building up part where you're like somebody to go home with and then it's like you guys are now equally yoked. And I tell the brother like, me not understand why you do that. And then, you have to tell her, I say, all right, it's all right. No, but I want that standing. Let's do it. And let me tell you. No, I'm not tell her. You don't need to know all of that. You don't need to know all of that. Yes. So, he did that. She did that. They fell in love. And then the guy was getting married. And then pops up at the guy's bachelor party. Bachelor party. This guy is getting married. This guy is getting married. Tell me why sis, enabled by her best friend, pops up at the wedding. Now that part I don't get. Like why you gonna pop up at the wedding? You done like been he, she pulls up at the at the restaurant and then she pulls up at the wedding like girl let him go at this time i'm screaming at the tv like let him go we don't want him sis let him go you know and then he uses the line or a part of the line about going home together or come home to in his vows to this woman and i'm like Nigga, you smooth. Like, why'd you do that? That is not cool. That marriage was doomed from the beginning because you use words from another conversation with a female as your wedding vows. You were doomed from the beginning. The bestie is like, yeah, let's do single forever. Like, we don't need no man. We don't need no man, men or this. We don't Girl, let's just be single. I might marry you. Y'all know that bestie bond that you tell your best friend that you're in it together, but then they go and get kids and get a man and they don't remember you. Yes, bestie, you may have talked to. But, yeah, we out here single, right? Nah, wrong. Bestie's in love with a guy that she said she would never fall for, you know, the bartender. Bestie is cleaning bars at the end of the night. Like, sis, this is a lot. I'm like... I stand this relationship. No need, please. I love you. Like, at this point, I'm loving the movie. I am. I love it. Like, it is amazing, right? 
then another hiccup. Book up by Miss Sir. Hagen. Like, sir, you're not dead yet. No, we had, we had, we had. One of the things that I love too is that they had more than one fight. As best friends, as friends, we don't have multiple fights. No, not me and my best friend because we just agree, say, and everything we go agree upon. And yeah, you know, never malice or nothing because. And we're very different. We're very, very different. I just accept what she say. I don't know if she accept what me say. But I just accept what she say. Like, T, you shouldn't do that. Or T, you should do that. Or, you know. And I say, yeah, you know, say that's true. Because she come with logic. So she, she do it from a place of love. So, big up you, best friend. But yeah. So, I like to see Noni mad because that's a lot of love and passion like there is so much there and she's like girl look at me like i'm the opposite of like they needed each other they definitely did because noni was teaching her how to be single even though it was like being promiscuous and doing the most she was telling her that sis you don't need to be running into a man's arms not arms into a man's life per se for um some kind of acceptance or whatever like you gotta love yourself like why why aren't you comfortable being single because if you're miserable being single you're gonna miserable in our relationship tested and proven now on the other hand she was showing noni that hey this love thing it, it's messed up but it, it works like it should work you know and noni was like yeah i seen all of y'all f-ups i'm i'm not with it i'm not with the program that's not what we're here for and they compliment each other and in the end that ending i'm not even gonna talk about the ending yet let's go back to october my favorite month now i loved october because this is where a lot of the ish went down in october this is sis's birthday they're doing picnics and everything and life is nice she's domesticating this boy like she got this boy under lock but then you can see in her face that she's getting everything that she wanted but did she really want it? Did she? No, she did not. So, when Mr. Sar plan up to meet somebody at a hotel. Now, let me tell you something. Making a mistake, making a mistake is different than Hmm. All right. You see, when you make a mistake, you do something like, oops, that happened. Like, whoa, what did I just do? Like, you know, that me can forgive. You see, when you make a mental decision and say, yeah, me, I go regret this, but me, I go do it. Then I just so we can like, no and when i tell people that i don't give second chances they look at me weird because in a mistake you don't need a second chance you need change behavior like change or don't do that again do precautionary measures so that don't happen again now when you're gonna make a decision in a cn mind if you do something and like tk i go forgive or you know, they say you're wrong. Now, when Mr. Sir go get married, I sis do this whole 180 with him and everything after him get, him, they get divorced or something. And I'm like, 
I'm gonna get you. But then she overhears him on the phone planning to go to a hotel again. And it jogged back memories because there is that doubt. Like he planted that initial doubt. Like, sir, initially, I'm walking for your bachelor party. So, how can I trust you? Because I hear you planning to go to a hotel. And then you lied to me like, no, it's just business or whatever. I can't trust your word. Because even though you were meeting your mother to surprise me for my birthday. No. No. Like, you already lied about that in the past. And I'm currently trying to combat my scorekeeping. Jay Shetty is teaching me not to or how to go about dealing with scorekeeping but miss scorekeep you do this before you do it again you do it again you do it again no you do it you're gone i keep score so if you do something that reminds me of something that you did i eat that like i eat that so when sis went to the hotel and like called up bestie even though they weren't on talking terms it's like sis i need you right now because here i am in a deja vu moment and bestie had to be the one to say chill girl they're just planning your surprise party and i'm like oh my god this this is hurtful like are we gonna have to be doing this like two three years down the line no i don't want that so even though Mr. Sarkom proposed, my favorite moment ever, proposed on her birthday, and she turned him down, and Bestie's like, I'm so proud of you. I'm like, yes. A man that never deserve you. I'm in a business. Wanna wanna say like people change, but they stay the same. And me, I got unpack that in a whole different video. But I do believe that some things just don't change and it never changed in this case because after she dump him, him update him status to in a relationship with somebody. Like now don't ever come at me and think that I'm ever implying that niggas ain't shit. I would never say that. I would never say that. That is not my place. I'm a woman. And my belief say man, woman, picnic, everybody of them F-ups. Like, these are alkaline fun all day. Man cheat. Woman cheat. We mess around. We trust the wrong people. If man are wicked, woman are evil. Call a spade a spade. To our evil. Yes. So, in all, my favorite, favorite, all time favorite moment was the ending when sis took that trip by herself. Like, she had this conversation with her best friend, like, how am I gonna go to a hotel and do all of this by myself? Girl, right now, I'm afraid, I'm afraid because 369 go go viral no and i had an italy trip planned by myself i want to frighten me now because yeah like i want to do so many things and even recently i had this conversation with myself because it's healthy you should do that and i'm like yeah i want to travel and i want to do so much and you know that meme or pun going around about going and coming i'm like Yes, this is what I want, but that's not what I want. Like, I don't want to take pictures and post on Instagram with some guy that's not going to be there for the long haul. I want to go and enjoy and experience life on my own. And this movie, bro, I just need a security detail. I need more money to get a security detail. Like, that's it. That's it. Because I'm seriously single. I'm seriously single, like, I'm seriously, 
Bro, this movie. Go watch the movie. Go watch the movie. Get your own idea of what the movie is. But I love the movie because it stands for so many things that I stand for. It reflects so many things that I am, have been, and aspire to be. So, yeah. Go watch the movie. I love the movie. Big up the actress. Them. Especially when I look a fluffy one day. What in tune, when our body was in control of her circumstances, like, sis, big up you, you know? Like, go check out the movie. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. If you like this kind of review and if you want more, because, um, I don't know. This, this was kind of exciting to do, so let me know if you want more of this and yeah check out the rest of my videos this week i think i'm aiming for seven but if i don't you might get five just like comment subscribe and share check out my marathon week and um yeah see you guys tomorrow have a great one love you bye